Hello friend welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video we will be taking a look at how to root any Android phone without using a computer. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so you can get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Also don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you. First of all, let me download Root Checker from Google Play Store, so I can check whether my device is rooted. So, open Google Play Store. In the search box, type Root Checker, and press Enter. Click on Root Checker, and click on Install. Now, wait for Root Checker to download and install. After installing Root Checker, click on Open. After opening Root Checker, click on Agree. Now, click on Get Started. To check whether your device is rooted, click on Verify Root. As you can see, it says, Sorry, Root Access is not properly installed on this device. This means my device is not rooted. Now let me walk you through one of the easiest ways to root any Android device very easily without using a computer. First, open your favorite web browser and go to vmos.com. The link to this website will also be in the description. On the vmos website, click on vmos download. After clicking on VMOS download, the VMOS application should start downloading automatically. But after clicking on the VMOS download button several times and your download did not start, then follow these steps. Long press on the download button and click on copy link address. Now click on your address bar. Long press inside the address bar and click on paste. Now press enter and click on download and your application should start downloading automatically. Now wait for the download to complete. After your download is complete, click on open. Click on Install. After the installation is complete, click on Open. Before using this application, you will need to make sure your device has at least 2 GB of RAM. If your device has at least 2 GB RAM or more, then swipe right 4 times and click on Enter VMOS. You will need to allow the use of floating window mode. To do that, click on On and allow display over other apps. Click on the back button and go back to VMOS. Click on to authorize and allow all permissions. Now you will need to wait for VMOS to install its ROM on your device. This process doesn't use internet connection and you will need to wait for some time.
Also wait for Vmos to launch for the first time. This might also take some time. But after launching the first time, this will no longer take time when returning to Vmos. After VMOS have launched successfully, it will ask you to install VMOS Unlocker. But when you click on Go Get It, Google Play Store will keep loading. In order to download VMOS Unlocker, click on the floating icon and click on Minimize. Open your browser and search for Aptoid on Google. In the address bar, type Aptoid and press Enter. Now click on the first link that leads to Aptoid website. If you get any cookie consent pop-up, click on Allow All. Click on the Download button to download Aptoid. Click on Download and click on OK. Wait for your download to complete. After your download is complete, click on Open and install Aptoid. After the installation is complete, click on Open. Click on Skip. Click on the search button and search for VMOS Unlocker. Click on the search result with a calculator icon that says VMOS Unlocker. Click on Install. Click on OK and allow access to Aptoid to install VMOS Unlocker. Click on Settings and allow installation from unknown sources. Now click on Install. After installing VMOS Unlocker, click on Open. After launching VMOS Unlocker, click on Cancel. Now go back and open VMOS. To open VMOS you can click on the floating icon to launch VMOS, or you can click on the VMOS icon from the Applications menu. To enable root, click on the settings icon. Click on root. Click on the switch icon to enable root. Click on watch now and wait for some time for root to be enabled on your device. This usually takes about 5 to 10 minutes. If you get this pop-up, click on restart now. Click on the VMOS icon again to start it.
After restarting VMOS, go back to settings and click on root. You can see root is enabled. Now let's confirm whether our device is rooted. Click on the back button and go to the home screen. We need to install root checker into VMOS to verify whether our device is rooted. To install root checker into VMOS, you can either install it from Google Play Store or you can import it into VMOS if you already have the application installed on your main device. To import an application into VMOS, click on the file manager icon and click on import. Scroll down and click on root checker. Click on root checker and click on import. Wait for root checker to be imported and installed automatically. After the installation is complete, go back to the home screen. Yeah. Click on the root checker icon. Click on agree. Click on get started. Click on verify root. Click on remember choice forever and click on allow. You can see root checker says congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. This means our VMOS device is rooted. So anytime you want to run an application that require root access, you just have to click on the file manager icon and click on import, then import the application into VMOS and use it in VMOS. You can also click on the export button and export any application from VMOS into your main device. When you export any application from VMOS, it will be saved to this location on your main device. So this is the updated method on how to root any Android phone without using a computer. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to drop a like and also subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so you can get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Thank you.